Good morning everyone, I'm back. It's Saturday 11.20 and um, I'm gonna start off with something I didn't announce but I want to get it out of my system. First off, thank you all sponsors of February 2018. I love you all to pieces. This is it. If you have donated, you don't you see yourself on this list, please don't hesitate to email me because I will fix it. Okay, now what's the plan? <coughs> I have this painting, which I promised Judy. Judy was really happy that I was gonna send it. But every time I looked at it, every single time I think, thought, you know, I have to um, varnish it. I didn't like it. I don't, I still don't like it. And I know you said you preferred this one over the other one. I'll show you the other one. This was the first one we did with the interference and it, it shines through just a tiny, tiny little bit, but it has some really nice cell lines in it. Then I did this one and you said, oh yes, I like that one much better. But I don't like them both, so <laughs> I don't know what to do. Every time I was looking at this thing, I'm thinking, no, I don't like it. So I'm going to pour another one. So this is it. Same colors, only I added, this time I added a little bit of chocolate brown because I think it'll set off some of these uh, other colors, especially the uh, interference ones. I think the brown needs just a little bit of water extra. It was a little thick. The sides. Yep, that's better. Okay. So I'm going to pour a new one, like I said. So we're going to start off with... We want the interference to come on top. So I'm going to start off with interference then the lighter pink then the normal pinky color come back in with a little bit of interference then the dark purple which I will plop in there from up high so it mixes up in the cup then the brown, whoops, and I'm going to do a little of that. Okay, I think um, that is pretty much enough when I pour this in there too. I think that'll be enough. Okay, we're ready. And I am going to do a flippy, flippy cuppy. So let's see about this. And we're going to pour it. And of course, I still have plenty of paint to do some um, ribbons if it's not really, really interesting, this stuff. There we have some. Putting it on the side. Oops. Okay, there's some interference coming up. I'm not sure what's going on here, but we'll see about that. I'm going to tilt it a little bit, and then I'm going to come in with my torch. Okay, we have some really nice cells popping up. Now I'm going to stretch them out a little bit, going over there, letting it come down here, 
and that way you know the uh, the layers under the uh, the layers will pop up as you can see up here now the interference is popping through now there we go gotta really clean up my hands a little bit now this is to die for this is beautiful I love this this top bit here this is sort of mm, okay let's see if we can torch it a little more Nah, not much happening only the uh, air bubbles are coming out now that is that is okay this is beautiful this here in the middle I love it and only this bit here I don't like so what we're gonna do is get our new paper cups and put some of this interference in with each other I think a little bit of pink not too much that's about it and a little bit of purple maybe a little more that's about it that's nice then I'm gonna add a little more on top because I really like how that gold is popping through with the uh, with the interference violet. Okay. <clears throat> That's it. I'm gonna let it run up and down. That's it. That's right there. That's okay. Then there's still one little thing I need to do because I want to pull it up a little bit here. And that is really pretty. Only here I'm missing a little bit on the canvas because I pushed the uh, pushed the spoon in a little bit too much. That's nice. And I want a little bit of that interference on top. Now that's okay for me. I think this is uh, totally okay. This is what I like. I would like to do a little bit of dragging. Let's see. Yeah. But what will I drag it with? Just a tiny, tiny little bit of it going over the sides like that I know it's not much but it's you know just the artist touch that I really like
that's it. And I want to try one little bit up here. Just to get it into the uh, the rest of the painting. Really, really lightly, just uh, touching the surface, you know, just to make it flow a little bit more. That's it. That's nice. Okie dokie. I think we're there now. This one I can live with. I like this one. But, there's a big but for Judy. You know, any one, any which one you choose from now is up to you. But I just didn't feel good about the other one. But there are so many tastes, and um, if you do, if you do like the other one better, just say so, and it will be on its way this week. This one, if you choose this one, of course, it'll have to cure a little bit. So that's it. That's all the sides. So you just let me know which one you want and I will take care of it. Here we go. Here's a lot of interference going on up here. A little bit of interference here. That is kind of... Let me get you in focus. There you go. A lot of stuff going on. So just let me know and I will get that to you. Now I want to put this away and let's see what we can do with the drip off. Okay, we're back. Now, I did want to use the rest of what's in this cup. The good thing about these cups, when you're at the end of your uh, paint, you can just, you know, squish them. You can just squish them and they're totally empty, so you don't waste paint that way. Then let's put some of this pink on. And let's do something with this. I don't know if I really like this in the uh, it is sort of um, pulling on the cells I can see that it is making some sort of a uh, connection with uh, with the paint and it makes it not sell that really well but I might you know just change the recipe and maybe then it will work a little bit better I'm not sure but I'm I'm not getting wowed, so that's uh, that's the thing. <clears throat> Let's shake another one. A lot of dark purple, and I'm gonna put the interference uh, violet in there. And pull that over. See what happens when you torch it. See, there's not much action going on. I just, um, I'm not really sure how that, what's happening. Usually, it really, you know, just bursts into, uh, into cells. <clears throat> and now, all of a sudden, it doesn't. So, I'm not sure what's going on. Let's put some silicone on top of that. See what happens. No, nothing. Well, a little bit, but you know, bleh. Not really going for it.
little bit of cell action, that's it. Letting it run down a bit, just to stretch them. <coughs> Sorry about that. Just to stretch them out a little bit. But I'll let it dry because, you know, the, the thing that might be cool is when the interference, uh, you know, kicks in. And uh, using it in jewelry, you know, when you go side by side, you, you, your pendant moves, it might catch some uh, rays. So we'll see how that works out. But we're going to keep this one. The other one, I'm not sure. Maybe just that little bit up here. I'll show you up close. Yeah, you're not really getting it in focus, are you? Yeah, there it is. That little tiny bit up here that I really like has has sort of a uh, panther <laughs> look to it. So I'll try that. Why will this thing not get in focus? Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a little cleanup, and I'll be back with the one of the ones I'm going to do the second layer on. Let's see which one. Oh yeah, the one with all the uh, bubbles in the middle and the, the pour on the sides. I'll be right back cleaning up and I'll see you in a bit. Love you all to pieces. <laughs> 